everybody. Welcome to My Chamber TV, the Tarpon Springs edition. I've got my hostess here, uh, Jean Hungable. Oh, my gosh, it's been a morning. Well, it has, but, you know, it's also been a month since we've done this. I, two months, almost. It has been two months. Wow. Oh, man. Hey, so you got you knocked out of the park. We have some great guests today, right? And yes. you've got the first, we're going to jump right into this because I don't want to eat up their time. We have got Lou and Cindy from the um, Family Benefits. Yes, and you aren't going to attack that last name? Nope. Oh, uh, nope. Partizana. Nope. And it's not Greek, it's Italian, which is wonderful. Yep. Um, we're looking at you in Newport Ritchie and possibly coming to Tarpon and other areas. Talk a little bit about why your health services are so much better than the norm. Well, right. I think we have a the right model for doing business, which is to say we're entirely focused on the client. And there's three things that allow us to do this that are differentiators that I feel. Uh, the first is that we have all of the health insurance plans that you can get. We get a regulated commission no matter what you get. So our job is to help you find the plan that's best for you. We call that unbiased help at no cost to you. Uh, the second thing that we do is that we have this retail location currently in Newport Ritchie um, that's manned year round by uh, you know professionals that are mm -hmm. there to help. Right. Uh, we intervene for our clients in a lot of different ways, such as uh, we help them find um, specialists or other providers. Um, we actually will help them do billing disputes, claims disputes, um, appeals, grievances, uh, other things that you know other insurance agents won't do for you. Like most of my competition in the Medicare market, they're going to come to your house, sell you a plan, and then you never see them again. Uh, at Family Benefit Services, you literally become part of the family, and our office is available to you, you know, year-round for anything that you need. We encourage you to come with any problems that you have. So you like walk-in traffic. Well, yeah, absolutely. That's it's the yeah. lifeblood of our business. Uh, I want you know to drive people to our store to interact with us uh, to get the information that they need. And I tell them they'll walk out the door one day. And I'm like, you know what? In three months from now, you're not going to remember all of this. Please come back. And we'll go over it's, parts of it again. It's complicated. Well, you have to be an informed consumer in the health insurance and healthcare market now. And, you, and trying to keep it all straight is difficult. So you help with providers as well as everything all the way up to basically going to the doc. Well, absolutely. Um, you know, that is absolutely what we do. We want to tell you we want to get you all the way into the examination room. And but then you stop. Well, we, yeah, we don't. Yeah, we, <laughs> yeah, then you have to come back to us and say, I have a problem, and then I'll work on okay. that. But I'm just checking. It, it, it's a good point. I, I don't want to be in the examination room with you. <laughs> anyway, um, but yeah, we want to get you the plan. We want to make sure all the requirements are fulfilled for you to keep your plan. Uh, we want to make sure you get ID cards. We want to make sure those work when you go to the provider that you choose to okay. go to. And then if that's the case, you get to the examination room, and we feel like we've, you know, we've, at that point, the sales process is over. And then the service component begins. And that's why it's family benefit services, because that's the thing you really stress is the right. service. And then the third thing that we do that's completely different than everyone else is we are a community partner for the state of Florida's Department of Children and Families. Oh, okay. It, yeah. And in that capacity, uh, we help individuals apply and renew for state benefits, including cash assistance, Medicaid, and food stamps. Um, we do this as a charity that we run and that we fund. Uh, we do it because there is a good tie-in to the Affordable Care Act and uh, to Medicare for Medicaid recipients. This makes us the expert in dealing with these dual eligible classes of individuals. Um, and also, we just feel that it's the right thing to do for the community. Um, if you live or you know work in Newport Ritchie, you understand that there is a an element of you know poverty here that needs to be addressed. It's it's growing everywhere, so it's one of those things where that you are able to do full service for that. That's terrific. Now, family, you're looking at somebody whose children become 26 and they're out. Sure. What do you? How do you? How do you manage that? Or how do you prepare them for that? Well, yeah, it's, it's true. Mm -hmm. As a parent myself, yes. I can say that we have certain responsibilities that we didn't have a generation ago. Mm -hmm. and, this is one, and this is one of those that things. That is correct, right. Is that you are now going to be in charge of your health care, which isn't, you know, back in the day you would go to work for one company, stay there for 20 years, your health care was never a concern of yours. Right. Now it's totally different. So, yes, we have to take that individual in. 
We have to you know, give them just an insurance 101 to explain to them what a deductible is, explain to them to what a co-pays are, explain to them what out-of-pocket maximums are, right? And try to get them to understand that this is a cost that's an investment in your life, in your future, that's important that you make. And it's easy for us to do because, number one, our son works for us now. And going through his entire life, he's always grown up le learning about health insurance and the you know, marketing that we do, the policies that we sell. And he's come alongside of us about a year and a half ago and wow. is taking over our Newport Ritchie office because, as you said, this is a chamber, Tarpon Springs Chamber TV show. We moved recently to Tarpon Springs and have become part of that community now as well in efforts to grow our business down there. Well, the neat thing, too, is I have met your son and your son. Son is, I want him as part of our young professionals because he exemplifies what a family business is and coming up through. Plus, when you get these youngsters that come off of their parents' policy, they can relate easily to, Absolutely. to him. Absolutely. That's, that's well, really Thank neat. you. That's high praise. So I appreciate it. Your, your whole business practice is a fiduciary for insurance. Just like the, the just like the uh, financial world has a fiduciary, you've really got it to the point where you're really strictly there for the, the client. That is um, a an, an very good observation, and, and ironically, I come from that industry. I got my start in the business in the 90s as a fiduciary and a stockbroker, right. and I did try to bring that same mentality to my business practice in health insurance, absolutely. That is, it's amazing. First of all, it's amazing that you have a location. Because that's typically what you don't ever find. Everybody's like, oh, I work out of my house. Or, or online. You know, I have a corporate office, but uh -huh. I'm just all on the road all the time. But you literally want people to come into your office. We, you know, <laughs> we love them to come in just to say hello if they don't have any problems. But if they do, we want to be there first. Well, the, the community really loves you. Yeah. And the practice that I see comes full circle here. Tell us a little bit about this award. This is Cindy. So this is the Tampa Bay Times Best of the Best and Family Benefit Services one top there. level insurance agency best of the best for 2023. What that means is Tampa Bay Times puts out their um, annual contest. We get nominated by one of our clients or a member in the community, and then everybody goes and votes for about a month and a half, and we won. And it's we're very proud of that because of the service that we do provide to our clients and our customers and our community. And everybody's listening, watching this, and it's like, wow. They, they, they voted with their... Absolutely. Their, with their, their pen stroke or online. But it's so great. I'm where excited. can everybody find you? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Sure. Um, so number one is our retail. We do take walk-ins. Um, we have walk-ins every day. Um, secondly, you can set an appointment via phone, or you can go to our website, learn okay. more about us, which is uh, familybenefitservices.com. Okay, and where you tell everybody where you're at in Newport Ritchie. <laughs> For sure. Um, where our address is 5644 Main Street, Newport Ritchie. Um, we are directly next to the social. We have a huge underwater mural that's painted on the front of our building, so you can't miss being under the blue whale. <laughs> under the blue whale. Under the blue whale. That's absolutely And phenomenal. they answer the phone. No. That's yes. terrific. It's not <laughs> push this button. Good stuff. That's yeah. absolutely phenomenal. Well, thank you guys for being on. We appreciate it. Look, folks, if you're looking for a good family run insurance company, this is this is the folks to come see right Old here. Old fashioned service. Old fashioned service. And they'll answer the phone. You could talk to them. You could walk in and just say, hey, Lou, let's go get some coffee. Oh, okay. Absolutely. Because there's good coffee downtown. Yes, there is. So everybody stick around because we went from health. Now we're going to the world's tallest massage therapist, which I think is actually, when you walked in, I'm like, just how tall are you? It's like <laughs> seven three, I believe. If, if, if. We'll have to ask him. We'll when have to ask him. On. We'll I, be right back. I think back. you should measure him. There you go. We'll be right back <laughs> after these messages. Welcome back, everybody. You know what? This next young man is amazing. Yes, right? he is. And He's I not a vouch. chiropractor. He's a massage therapist. And, you know, I can vouch for that because I was one of his clients last week. Really? Yes. We got Mitchell Lane. Absolutely. He and is awesome. Strong hands. Strong hands. Massage. massage, yeah. So let's talk. So, okay, let's. We're going to address the tall guy in the room. All right. Can't say elephant. 
So tall guy oh, in the I'm room. I'm only seven foot three. Not seven. that tall. You know, according to Giants, I'm just a baby giant. I'm just a baby <laughs> giant. Most people that have giantism are between seven five and eight feet tall. Uh, the world's tallest man was eight foot eleven. So I'm only seven foot three. So so you're you're you're, you're getting there. I'm getting there. You're getting there. So. I gotta ask, what made you get into massage therapy? Well, um, like a lot of athletes, you know, we, we strive to be the best in our sport to play pro. Uh, but I always tell people, as a student athlete, it's important to have a plan B because mm. things happen. Uh, I was on my way to train to go play pro ball in Greece and try out there. And during training, I had a big guy come down my ankle and fractured it. And oh. as a fractured ankle, you're going to have future sprained ankles moving forward. Yep. It's nothing personal. It's just business. And I had to really think about a career change. And unless you have a trade, it's really hard to go from going to school for something to immediately jumping into a business mentality. And so for me, massage therapy was something I was always good at. And uh, so I was able to make that transition from a student athlete into massage therapy. Uh, I worked at some of the nicest resorts in the world. And then I took that experience and started my own business. But it's really important for any student athletes out there to have a plan B because things happen. And you do not want to be stuck with, oh, my greatest quality is my point average. That's not going to matter to an employer. So make sure you have a trade, something you're good at that you can offer in the event that you do get injured. So pivot. We were talking before the show started and you were telling us what makes you different and uh, uh, from all the other massage therapists sure. and all the, the corporate people versus, and I said, stop, we're gonna hold this. So let's let's talk about what makes you different. So I've, I've worked in some of the nicest resorts in the world. Uh, I helped manage a massage envy in some of our chain spas. And, and you pick up on things as you work at places. And then the most common complaint I'd hear from my clients is, is they're sold on this hour massage and they get there and they only ever get 45 to 50 minutes. It's a constant problem everywhere I go. And having my own business, I don't want to do that because I would want to be treated that way. So when people come in, I block off 15 minute slots between each client so everyone gets their full massage time. Wow. Uh, they also get free enhancements. So uh, aromatherapy, hot towels, full body scrubs. Um, I do full body stretch at the very end. Cupping is a real popular one for athletes. Uh, most places charge $35 to $65. I do that for free. And I also have some massage gadgets that go on the hands and the eyes. So you feel like you're getting a full body massage while I'm still working on you. Right. And all that's also free and included. I, I definitely want to do the hand thing. Uh. I hurt all the time. There's not a part of my bike that doesn't hurt all the time, so I got to... And then gotta, one of my this. deals that my clients love, all first-time clients, if you buy two massages up front, you get one free. Those are good for, <laughs> that's for three really, months. That's really uh, great. Every new client you refer gets you 30 minutes free. So I had one guy who referred 16 people on social media in 10 days. He got eight hours of free massage time. Wow. Most people just say, oh, thank you for the referral. But with me, I actually give you things for free. You actually for, thank them for the referral. Yeah, that's wow. good stuff. No. I, and, and I'm, I'm watching the time over there because I don't want to miss this part. Not only do you handle the human massages, but you actually are equine as well. Yeah. Yeah. So I recently just got certified in equine massage. Uh, I had a few clients who uh, worked at the Avalon Ranch. They had 67 horses there, I believe. And like, right. would you please come work on our horses? And looked into the program. Like, you know, I grew up on a farm. I love working with animals. I'm not intimidated by horses. Uh, that can sometimes be a stopping, yes. stopping mm -hmm. thing for people. And uh, got certified and went and worked at the ranch. And, uh, you know, it's interesting because horses are, are big animals. And yeah. to reach a horse's back, most people have to stand on a stool. Yes. And then if you hit a sore spot on the horse, the horse will jolt and you're at risk for falling down. And now you have a liability lawsuit. Right. With me being seven foot three, I can just stand there and push on the horse, no problem. And if the horse moves, I just move with it. So I actually have a tactical advantage being seven foot three. And uh, so my, my long-term goal is to eventually get to uh, possibly Horse World, as was mentioned, or Tampa Bay Downs, working with the race horses. Right. So it's great because most of the people that work on horses from understanding they're not dual licensed with people mm -mm. so what i'm going to do to help the horse and the owner is if the owner buys four massages for his horse he himself gets a free two-hour massage marketing wow. genius nice 
You also have an interesting philosophy on how should you sleep which it, I'm wrapping my head around it because it's contrary to what most people do. Yeah, so a lot of places, um, it's kind of a hush-hush a topic. Don't talk about this because if, if I can provide a service to loosen up your neck and shoulders and then you're going to go home and naturally do something that destroys the progress, I can make more money on you because you're going to come back one, two, three times a month. And I, you know, my philosophy is, is love your client like family. You know, whether it's the first massage or the last massage of the day, you're always going to give them your best. Right. And part of giving your best is being honest with people, having that integrity. Uh, so I tell clients right off the bat that come in, you know, they're having sore neck and shoulder pain, low back pain. Do you sleep on your side? Yes, I do. Well, you shouldn't do that. When you sleep on your side, you put all your body weight on that shoulder, and that causes your neck your shoulder, your hips, your glutes, your low back, everything to get tense. Oftentimes, laying on your shoulder, you can pinch nerves in your shoulder, causing you to lose sensation down to your hands. And eventually, your body's like, John, get off of me. <laughs> so you go to the other side. Right. And you basically toss and turn all night because you're in pain. And then you wake up and you're a wreck. And you say, yeah. I need a massage. I need an adjustment. Whereas if you sleep on your back, and, and I know this is hard, uh, but if you can train yourself to sleep on your back, you wake up and you're not in pain. As long as you have a good mattress and a good pillow, and now instead of being in pain, you're actually having a healthy quality of life moving forward, waking up feeling wonderful. So if you sleep on your back and you're comfortable, you're not going to toss and turn. Right. Yes, you may snore, but that's just your body's way of saying, hey, I'm having really good sleep. Leave me alone. <laughs> I won't tell my wife oh. that now. I got a new, I got a new phrase for her. I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping. Leave me alone. I'm having good sleep. But you know, it's hard to sleep on your back. And I was in a little while ago and can vouch for, yes, this is this, the stretching part of it really was amazing. Because I've had massages, but I'd never had anybody stretch my legs and my right. shoulders and all of yeah. that. And I spent the next three days walking around feeling two inches taller. Yeah. So it was great. Yeah, most places, uh, I'm not going to say names, but most places will charge usually 60 to $70 for a stretching session, usually just like a 45-minute one. I basically simplify that down to uh, each stretch is 10 seconds. So I can do a full body stretch at the very end to thoroughly loosen you up, and I just do it for free and include it. Wow. And so it saves you money, and that way you leave like, oh, I, I feel my muscles are relaxed, and I'm loosened up. I feel wonderful. And that's, you know, my goal ultimately is to give you the best experience you can with massage when you come in every time. So where are you located, and how do people get a hold of you? I'm located at 39326 US 19 North um, in Tarpon Springs. If you just go on Google and you search Strong Hands Massage Tarpon Springs, I'll pop up. I do believe I have 1,038 five-star reviews for the wow. highest massage no, parlor. Amazing. Wow. Uh, it did take me six years to get that, so it wasn't something that was paid for or, or happened overnight. And, uh, yeah, you can go to stronghandsmassage.net to see everything online, and you can also contact me on there as well. Yep. Well, I, thank you for coming on, and I will be calling you probably beginning of next week and start getting in there because I'm a slight sleeper, and I feel like I have horrible horrible schedule sleep. early because i had to do that okay we'll so everybody will always give you my best everybody thanks for watching come back we've got daniel Crump coming in from the advent health north pinellas yes we went from health to health to health we'll be right back after these messages Hey, everybody, welcome back. You know what? Health, health, and health. Yes. And this health is big health, right? This is a huge, huge deal. Huge deal. I see something huge right there. What's up with that? Well, we'll get to that in a moment. Oh. Just hold your So you thought. want to introduce your guest? Yes. This is Daniel Crunk. He is with Advent Health North Pinellas, one of our the chamber's favorite, favorite people. Favorites. Um, favorite member, I would say. They're one of our big sponsors. You but... have favorites? Well, occasionally. Occasionally. <clears throat> anyway. Daniel um, is the CFO, so you have handled the money, make sure everything is in ship shape order, and tell people no, you can't spend that. Yeah, there's a lot of no, so that's a lot of fun. Um, when you were referencing something large, I hope you were What is that? Yes, okay, not me. The trophy, not him. I don't know, right. he's large. Uh, Ooh. Oh. Stature. 
Yeah. Yes, so, but he looms large. Thank you. Thank talk you. a little bit about this, or do you want me to talk a little bit about this? No, I'm happy to talk about it. Um, do. It's wonderful. Yes, we're uh, glad to be part of the uh, chamber in the city. Um, we won greatest business of the year. Um, I think, was this because of my good looks or my charm? Both. It was a combination okay. of the two. <laughs> just wanted it good. good. Just checking. So. Yes, yeah, combination of two. But the thing that's wonderful about this is we do the businesses of the year once a year, and then of the businesses of the year, you were the large business of the year. We then do an overall, business and it the was year. unanimous from the committee that this year you all, Advent Health North Pinellas, got this. Love it when it's a surprise too. Because everybody, and nobody knew it except one person, and she kept it a secret there. But she made sure the right people were there. It was a big surprise for us and a big honor. So we were uh, very fortunate to uh, be named that this year. It's a big honor to have you all in the community. The, the impact, you are such a great economic driver in the community. But having been a patient a couple of times there, um, I'm just really thrilled that you're there. You're convenient. Your reputation has grown tremendously um, over, the, over the last decade or so. Um, talk a little bit about some of the improvements that have taken place in the last few years oh yeah um, in 2021 we opened up a brand new ER um, we have an outstanding ER team there that have been there um, for a long time and they've done fantastic work so it's great that we were able to build an ER that matches um, you know the efficiency and how fantastic the people are there so. with private rooms yes private rooms and the children's room or two yeah we have uh, some pediatric rooms there and some trauma rooms so yeah. it's um a space that really uh fits because when a child's going into the er for something they're they're unhappy they're in pain and then to go into a room that feels like it's a playroom right. with um murals on the That's wall huge. and that it is a big i'd never seen that before i was very impressed with that I painted those murals, so. Oh, yes. that's wow. why you were man of many talents. He's right. gonna, okay, we'll have you in the Fine Arts Festival. Oh, so, fantastic! Yeah, that will be yeah. that will be amazing. It so, will be. Yes. Um, what other improvements have they been doing at the hospital? Um, we're about to receive a second uh, robot for surgery. R two D two. You didn't yes. bring him along. I, I I am not allowed to, and I, I can see John. You're wondering what is a yeah. surgical robot, right? Yeah. It's exactly what you think it is. Um, it is a. Uh, it allows us to perform surgery on robots. Okay. So, yeah. It's well, a, well, you know, robots get hurt. Oh, yeah. you too are too much. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, being able to perform surgery robotically is the most minimally invasive way that you can perform surgery. So we've been growing our robotics program. So it's uh, wonderful that we're getting a second one. Now, is that, is that the type of robots? And I'm not. I know. I know you're the CFO, but I'm not. I just want to ask this question: Is that the type of right? So say the someone comes in in a, in a dire emergency case, is the surgeon? Did they have to be on property, or can they be off property? They, um, we have uh, physicians on call, so um, if there is an emergency, they come in and perform the surgery. Wow. I'm not allowed to perform the surgery. Just, uh, I, I think to they should let you in. I do, too. I, I think you're I a man of many too. talents. Yeah. I'm just saying. I don't yeah. know. I, hold it. No, 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 no. <laughs> Having yeah. been a patient and had surgery there twice, um, no, thank you. I, I like you where you're sitting. I've played that game home. before. You know, you go in and you reach in and try to get, don't hit the buzzer, and you get the little bone and the little hit. Yeah. I'm pretty sure you can handle that. Yes, yes. I, I have to. On the right I have to say this. I was I was a tarponite for 19 years, and I guarantee you the people at Tarpon are so happy that Advent's there now. Yes. Absolutely, nothing wrong with the old hospital, but it's leaps and bounds. Oh, it, it's a fresh new look as oh well. Oh my gosh, um, beautiful, and, beautiful and facility, bigger part of the community. Yeah, um, you've got. You know, new equipment. I'm looking at some of these upgraded plans, some other plans that are coming like, but the quality of service has changed, has changed so much. Talk a little bit about some of the new doctors that have come in. Ooh. Oh, that's a great question. Um, recently, we've had a uh, Dr. Paul Arnold come back to the community. He's joined uh, Advent Health Medical Group. He's a fantastic urologist and really helps improve the quality of our hospital. So we're glad that he's back. That's terrific. Who else? Um, recently, in the last year, we've had a, a bariatric surgeon that's uh, fellowship trained that has joined Advent Health Medical Group. His name's uh, Dr. Ram Logan. So he's a general surgeon, but also fellowship trained with bariatrics. That's awesome. What does fellowship trained mean? Oh. 
Well, I'm more of a numbers person, and that's maybe more of a clinical question. Okay. No, I'm no. Okay. Um, <laughs> they go through um, after they um, uh, become a general surgeon. They go through additional training and like a uh, one extended year to be trained and certified in uh, a subgenre of um, their so, specialty. A so, okay. Okay. So, yeah, that makes like sense. A, like a heart or brain or traumatic or something like that. Okay. Am I correct? Right. That yeah. makes sense. I just had never heard that term before. So um, you've got those two new guys, and then there's been just some other changes in there, too. The foundation has got some really good things coming on. They do. Um, the foundation helped us um, get a brand-new 128-slice CT that's right next to our ER. Um, so that's a very quick um, CT that really helps the efficiency and the team down there. So. Uh, good yes. to get. And it's great to have Sophia Zeronius, who is running that foundation, on the chamber board, which really ties us back together as well. Um, I love the fact that they are just, you're so giving in the community. The Christmas celebration that you do for the community, car shows, just things that you don't think of that hospitals would do that bring people and, and bring people in. It's great. We've got a Christopher Still mural in the lobby. Yeah. How yeah. did that come about? Oh, he's a great partner in the community. That's phenomenal. I know. I remember that well, and I'm glad you mentioned that because I hadn't really heard it described that way. Um, it's and then you faith-based um, healthcare is something that's very important as well. It is absolutely. Um, we're a nonprofit, so um, we don't have shareholders that um, we're focusing. To... Yep, the focusing on a return. Um, as we generate profits, it gets reinvested in our team and capital and things that benefit the community. Goes back to where it should be going back to. Yeah, absolutely. That's absolutely. Good. So I don't know if everybody knows where they're at. Where you located at? Um, we're off Alt 19 in Tarpon Springs, so just uh, south of downtown, right across wow. from the golf course. Mm -hmm. Wow, that is cool. I am so glad they're there. I wish I lived there now. Now, I'm, but I'm in Newport. Which, so okay. well, you, you can, can still visit us. As I said, I can come down and visit. Going, hey, absolutely. Hey, you know, yeah. Can somebody come down and see you guys? Unfortunately, we're running out of time. We are running out of time, so everybody stick around. We got more great guests coming up. We got a restaurant and pest control, and then we got Gene. Hi. Uh, see, I did what we did there. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey everybody, welcome back. Now we're going to talk food. That's I guess it's health, 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 and health. Health. Oh, right. and healthy eat eating. Right. And healthy eating. Oh my gosh, yes, absolutely. Right. Erica Switzer, Chris, it's Current's Restaurant downtown. So Tarpon. what's Current at Current Restaurants? No. Uh, well, actually, we just won um, the from the Tampa Bay Magazine Best of the Bay Best Gluten Free Restaurant. So really? yeah, ninety percent of our menu is gluten free. And we are, you know, very open to people who have allergies, who have restrictions in their diet. We welcome you. We don't think that you should have to sacrifice okay. going out to eat. I have the question. Here's the question. Sure. To do gluten-free, I know, like, because I have donut maker friends and cupcake maker friends, they only do on certain days because they have to completely wipe that. Place. Do you have two areas to cook in? Um, no. There aren't two areas to cook in. So when we say gluten-free, the options that are gluten-free do not touch or come in contact with the options that have oh, okay. gluten in them. Right. But if you have celiac, like right. if you have an actual allergy or you're turning in an allergy card when you eat, then the chef takes extra precaution in the back to gotcha. ensure uh -huh. that none of that was, is is getting into your plate. I mean, right down to new pans, new, That's you know, right. wow. all the preparation stuff. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And we've been um, mainly gluten free for years. My business partner, Tracy, is the original owner of Currents. We partnered um, October 1st of last year. Has it? I can't she's, believe it's been that long. I know. I know. Almost coming up on a year. So, oh, that's exciting. Um, but she's been going down that gluten free road for a while. And, and there's a big audience out there for there it. There is. And Absolutely. That's, that has been a big seller for that because you don't know it. You just, it's delicious. Yeah. Best crab bisque 
Lobster bisque. Lobster bisque. Whoa, lobster bisque. Yeah. In town. Lobster bisque. Yeah. Oh, yes. I just had it a few days ago. Phenomenal. Right. My go-to for lunch constantly. And let me tell you something about that lobster bisque. So my husband was the executive chef at Kern's Restaurant back after Bobby, the original executive yes. chef. And he was there for, um, my husband was there for almost eight years as wow. the executive chef before we left and opened up our own place in Clearwater. And then coming back, he tasted the lobster bisque and he's like, my recipe stuck. So he's been perfecting that no recipe kidding. for lobster bisque for 14 years now. So you now. left, came back. Welcome home. Thank you. That's Thank you. pretty neat to know. We're happy to be home. Mm -hmm. Yes. So you do um, a, a different menu for lunch than you do for dinner. Yes. And that's something that a lot of the restaurants don't do because it's one I've of those. I've never heard of that. Yeah. It's well, completely being a, different. A fine dining concept where the casual fine dining of Tarpon Springs, um, not very many people want to get all dolled up to go to lunch, but we have a lot of foot traffic. I mean, downtown Tarpon has become such a walkable town. Yes, absolutely. In, in just the past couple of years, it's bustling down there. Yeah. It's awesome to see I our know. lunch bent. Our lunch menu reflects what people want when they're walking around downtown. Okay. So, but it's still that elevated food. You're still gonna get our chicken piccata, our lobster bisque, um, but we have some handhelds on there and things like that. Best burger in town. We yes. actually take the trimmings from our fillets because uh, we get the whole beef tenderloin in, and the chef goes and cuts it down, cuts the fillets in the Chateau Briand, and all the trimmings get ground in-house to make our fillet burgers. What? So, Amazing. Yeah. And they're, oh, it's out of this world. Absolutely. Guy. Yep. And yep. everybody asks us to put it on the dinner menu, but chef is, like, kind yeah. of fighting it. So maybe we might do, like, Burger Mondays or something like Ooh, that. Ooh, that, that would be a good soon. one. Wouldn't yeah, Because be, the burgers be are fun? outstanding in there. But mm -hmm. you can only get it at lunch, and that's a hot... I don't eat that much for lunch. But the lobster bisque, you can get... You can get for lunch dinner. or dinner. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so Absolutely. Is it, is it rock lobster, or is it Maine lobster? It's Maine lobster. Oh. I'm from Cape Cod, so... You know, when it comes to lobster and scallops and seafood my, in general, it has to be fresh and it has, has to, to be, be from my, cold waters. My wife and I are, are, are seafood snobs because they're, we're from Connecticut. Well, mm -hmm. she's from Connecticut. I'm not from anywhere. Yeah. But um, up there, you can go to Maine. And, I, and it's for good a while stuff. There, oh, yeah. yeah. If, it's not, if, it's, if it's not Maine lobster, it's not lobster. It's not lobster. Yeah, yeah you're absolutely right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is some of the favorites on your dinner menu? So our dinner menu, I mean, the classic is the filet mignon uh, with bacon jam. Um, for appetizers, our scallops are out of this world, made with a sweet corn emulsion, and then the bacon jam goes on top, and they are just melt-in-your-mouth, buttery, you ate scallops. They're huge. They're like this big. Um, They're tins, right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh. And then um, the red snapper. So we got all of our fish from day boats. The okay. chef doesn't order anything that's previously frozen or whatever. Everything comes that's in fresh, fresh, gets filleted in the kitchen, and then gets put on the plate that evening. So it is the freshest fish in the Red Snapper. He has just been loving the quality that has been coming in. It was swimming the day before. Absolutely. Wouldn't that, that's a neat thing to be able to say. How, how fresh is it? Well, it was swimming yesterday. Yeah. So, oh, my oh, God. So, you, so you're like farm to, I mean, I hate to say this term, but farm to fork. Basically. Yes. Yeah. Except for yeah. it's swimming it's to fork. It's swimming to fork. <laughs> sea to fork. <laughs> yeah, sea to fork. Yeah. yeah. Sea to spoon, because it's so tender, you can cut it with a spoon. Really? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you now have event space, and yes. not only can people lease that, but... You also do special events yourself. Yes, we Talk do. Talk a little bit about what's so, coming up. Yeah, Kern's Third Space. Um, it's, you know, right next door connected to the restaurant. Uh, and we do rent it for private events, private parties. But we do have our own. Actually, this week, we have Harry Potter pop up all week long. So it's Wednesday today. Uh, we have it tonight, Harry Potter Trivia. Tomorrow is going to be the Great Hall Dining Experience. Oh. And then Friday, for First Friday, we have the Great Hall Ball. So DJ Cheska is coming in, and you can dance the night away in your oh. Harry Potter robes or or not, whatever. Just come in and, and see it. It's pretty cool. And then we have a um, psychic comedian coming on August 11th and August 12th, and that's dinner oh, and a show. So. That's, that's, my, that's my cup of tea. Yeah. Psychic comedian. Yeah. 
Oh my gosh. It's Karen Rontowski. She's coming from, uh, she does stand up all over Las Vegas, okay. LA, stuff like that. So she's coming to Little Old Tarpon and we're very excited That's to have her. very neat. Mm -hmm. So I've been to a number of events in, in the event space mm -hmm. and it is, holds how many people? Max? It holds 110 people. Because I think the largest that I've ever been in there was 80 and there was still lots of room to move around. But yeah. oh, how charming it is. So I have it's a quick wonderful. question for the Harry Potter thing. Yeah. Do you uh. need reservations? Um, you do not need reservations for tonight, Wednesday, or for Friday, but Thursday for the Great Hall Dining Experience, it is a ticketed event. Okay. Yep, so you can oh, go right dear, to our you're website going. And, oh, my wife. and buy the tickets. She, we have robes and everything. I have one. Yay! Have you need all. to come! Oh, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. I what house are you? Two. Me? Yeah. I'm Slytherin. Okay. She's Gryffindor. Yeah. My, my husband, the executive chef, he has a dark mark tattoo, so... Ah. Huge, yeah. And the menu for the Great Hall Dining Experience is on our website as well, so you okay. can check that out. Absolutely. To. Absolutely. You are going oh, to have to get down. me the flyers for that so I can put it out on our newsletter. Me too. Absolutely. Send that to me. Yeah. yeah. I'll we'll put it all out. of our and all of our events that we're doing in the event hall can be found right on our website. We update it. it all the time. Right. We also have a tequila and tapas coming up on August twenty third. So instead Ooh. of your traditional wine dinner, yes. we're gonna pair tequila drinks <gasps> with Nice. Food. So How fun. Yeah. And, you know, it's nice and refreshing, those margaritas in this heat. I mean, uh, yeah, God, love exactly. Come on. Yeah, and boy, exactly. that will hit you in a hurry. So tell yeah. everybody where you're at because we only got a couple seconds so left. So we're on East Tarpon Avenue, 200 East Tarpon Avenue, right in the heart of the downtown district, the uh, right across from the train depot. And make reservations online, or you can uh, inquire about the venue online as well. It's beautiful. Uh, I'm excited. It's really, it's a beautiful wait, place. Wait till I call my wife. We're going to go to dinner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what a surprise. Who cares? You get to eat and then you get to eat your robes. That's <laughs> the cool thing. It that's is. Like, I love it. Thank you for being on. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for it. having me. So stick around. We've got uh, one more great guest and then we got all the great stuff that's going on in Tarpon Springs. We'll be right back after these messages. Hey everybody, welcome back. And you know what? We went from health to health to health to health to healthy home. And now we're gonna go healthy home, right? We got we got Steve Barker from Phoenix Best Management and Wildlife Control. Yes. I love the wildlife side. Well, that's really neat. And he brought his toys with him. I love take my this. Toys everywhere I that go. Was go. You gotta take that everywhere. So let's talk about. Yes, you do just about everything, but it's like not just pest, it's pest and wildlife. Pest and wildlife, yeah. Well, we specialize in general household pest control, which is your normal household bugs. Um, we use all the best products so you get the best results. I've kind of fine-tuned over all these years the, the best ways to treat your home. We focus okay. on all the problem areas like your attic space, your plumbing areas like your kitchen and bathrooms, and the thresholds leading in and out of the house where the doorways are. Oftentimes they don't seal very tightly right. and they're okay. highways for the ants and roaches to get into, such as the soffit areas of your, of your roof trusses, you know, where they end that ventilation uh, starts and that's where the ants and roaches typically enter your house. I so a lot that. of companies don't even treat your attic space and we do that from the beginning. So when we do a initial pest control service, the first thing we do is dust and bait your attic space and then we work on the rest of the house. And then we focus everything on the outside on a quarterly basis typically because if there's no bugs in the house anymore, there's no need to treat inside. If there's, okay. no, if there's no bugs to make contact with any of the products, there, there's no need to come inside every time and put products or pesticides right. inside your home. So okay. you've got a barrier got a barrier. That's also better mm -hmm. for pets at home too. Pets at home and your kids too. Uh, we use all, all, the, all the pest, pest uh, the, the best products that are children and, and pet friendly. Okay. Um, so, but they're minimally used in the house. So again, when we, when we do that initial service, we're going to do basically all the house, including the attic and the outside, so that we only have to focus on the outside going forward. However, if you have a problem inside at any time throughout your 
quarterly service, all you have to do is give us a call and we'll come out and treat for that specific problem. So you'll come out and throw the shoe at the roach with the night sure. seat. <laughs> oh, God, that is the one thing. Do you, do you take a look at the house outside going, hey, that limb's touching the roof and you need to cut that limb back because if it can touch the roof, that means that's a path. Is that sure. correct? Yeah, when we first come out to the house, if somebody just calls about roaches, we'll, we still look inside your attic. We still get up on your roof. Right. Uh, we still check everything no to make sure that there's no entry points for rodents. I can't tell you how many times over the years that somebody called for an ant problem, and we check your attic, and there's rat droppings up there. Don't. Or there's, wow. or there's uh, insulated plumbing lines chewed on, or uh, sometimes there's electrical wires that are gnawed. You know, they say up to 25% uh, of house fires are caused by rodents gnawing on electrical wires, and that's typically coming from your attic space. And you don't even know you have them. Don't even know you have them. Well, if the, if the rodents are, are coming in, say, like one of your roof returns in the front of the house at nighttime, and they're staying up front by the garage, and you guys are in the back of the house in the evening watching TV, and you go to bed in the back room, you don't even hear you them. You don't ever hear those little footsteps up front. So they can live in your attic, and unless you go up there, you wouldn't even know they were there. Oh, I didn't realize that. Mm -hmm. that's, that's pretty interesting. So we check for all those types of entry points, and every house... I don't care where it's located, how nice it is, how expensive, whether you live in the woods or you live on the, on the Gulf of Mexico, every house needs to be animal proofed. They all have entry points and everybody thinks that, um, you know, I'll wait till I have a problem and then if I ever have a problem, I'll have somebody come out and fix it. Well, the, the problem with that is, is once the, the rats are infested or the squirrels are infested in your attic or raccoons go up there and have babies, um, it contaminates your attic space. Oh. And over time, it gets worse and worse and worse and more and more contaminated to the point where we have to do full attic clean out, where all that insulation that's filthy and contaminated right. has to be removed, and then all new insulation has to be put in, virus sided and cleaned. Um, so I always say, it's, it's always best to do preventative exclusion mm -hmm. before you even have a problem because we can address all those entry points, seal your house up, animal-proof your house, and you'll never have to worry about rats getting in. But that makes a big difference. Talk a little bit about all these critters. Yeah. I know in where I live, which is on Lake Tarpon, that I see armadillos all the time. And yeah. they love to dig and dig and dig. So mm -hmm. I know that those, they're cute, but they're destructive as well. Yeah, they can be, especially if you have, if you have really nice grass, manicured lawns. Um, you know, they're digging for food, so Grubs. They, they just want to eat, so they're digging and, and looking for food. Unless they really dig a burrow underneath, like your foundation or your air conditioning unit, they're not typically much of a problem to really worry about, unless they're you know, removing that foundation dirt. Okay. Um, we we kind of steer people away from trapping and removing them if they're not really causing much of a problem. If it's more of a cosmetic thing. You can kind of uh, have your lawn treated for bugs. Mm -hmm. uh, so oh, and that so, keeps them away. So there's not uh, as much food sources for them. And they might dig around a little bit but and then move on. Okay. Um, but if they're finding a lot of food, then, then you have a little bit more of an issue. Okay. They're but, actually a good way to tell if your lawn's healthy or not. Ah, okay. Yeah. Right? Because yeah, if, sure. if, that's what I've always, that's what my lawn guy says, hey, you've got holes, we've got a treat. Every time. I'm like, oh. And he's the one said, he goes, if I've got, if I see little holes, that means I've got to, I've got to start treating a little bit better. Oh, because of armadillos coming after food. They're always okay. digging. Yeah, they're, they're eating good. Yep, they're eating they're very around. well, and that's not a good thing. You oh. don't want them in your yard. Well, you know, and under, when you were talking about underneath the air conditioning unit, um, had one under the corner of the air conditioning unit, kept going back to the same spot, mm -hmm. and had to have somebody come and get it simply because then the air conditioning unit was going to go off center, it was going right. to cause more damage, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. Wow. That's typically the only, the only time where armadillos pose a problem so much. So what yeah. do you not do? What do you want to stay away from? Uh, we don't do alligators, coyotes. Wild wild hogs. Okay. Um, those are kind of state uh, state regulated right. type of captures, and typically there's 
alligator trappers that just trap alligators. Yeah. And it's more of a fun thing and sport for them and, <laughs> and a hobby. They enjoy it. Yeah, they uh, enjoy yeah, it too much. It's, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it, and you don't do termites either, correct? We don't, we don't do termites, no. We stick to the a animals getting in the attics. Uh, um, most of our, our clients call, they hear noises in the attic. That's okay. kind of the first question. And whether it's rats up there or squirrels up there, uh, or it could be a bigger animal like a possum or a raccoon also. But most people like to say, I got squirrels in the attic instead of rats because it right. sounds better. It's, but yeah. the truth is they're basically the, the same, same animal. Thing. One has a fuzzy tail, a little bit cuter. See one during the day. You don't see the rats too often because they're, they're nighttime. Right. So everyone always says, well, I don't have rats. I never see rats. Well, you, you're not. It's nocturnal. You're not, you're not going to see them. And they're, they, they can freeze up to 24 hours. They can not move, and some sometimes you know as soon as they hear that hatch open, they're, they'll freeze, and you're not going to typically see them. Now, if you're wow. real infested, they play possum. They're just going to be running around up oh. there. Oh, yeah. that's yeah. awesome. What yeah. about raccoons and garbage cans? How do you deter that? That's well, a tough. Better garbage cans. Stop cutting down all the trees and building more houses. <laughs> oh yeah, that's you know, probably the best way. But unfortunately, we we just keep building and building and cutting down more of their habitat. So their food sources get right. taken away and they, they sprout, they're scavengers. So that's what they relate uh, to find food. Okay. Um, so sure, you can you know, keep your garbage cans inside the garage is one, one way or buy the uh, you know, more expensive, heavier duty garbage cans with heavier lids and uh, better, better uh, connectors. And you can even put like a padlock latch on those so they can't open them. Um, They've already learned how to do, genetically, they know how to do bungee cords. Yes. Oh. Yes, yes they do. So where can everybody find you and what area do you cover? We, uh, we actually cover four counties. We, we do all of Hernando County, all of Pasco County, all of Pinellas County, and all of uh, Hillsborough County. Okay. We go as far south as uh, Sun City of Hollow Beach mm -hmm. and as far north as Brooksville. Uh, out to Wikiwachi, uh, I mean, uh, out to uh, Wesley Chapel and Zephyr Hills. Big and territory. As far as Plant City, out, okay. out there, Big right territory. before it gets to Polk wow. County. Ah, so, yeah, we do service a lot, a lot area. of area. We're out of time. I know, I know. I know. So, this look this man up. If you got, if, especially if you've got critters, he'll help you out. We'll be back right after these messages with Gene. We're going to talk about what's going on in the wonderful Tarpon Springs Chamber of Commerce. Be right back. Hey, everybody, and we're back, and you know what? Miss Jean Hungerville from the Tarp Springs Chamber of Commerce. you got a lot going on. Yes. Did you like the guys today? I, I loved the, 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 the guest lineup was phenomenal. You know, it, it's kind of, it, was all, it all dealt with health, believe it or not, it in really one way did. or it, another. It did. I don't, that, I don't think that was an intentional thing. It was not. But, but it, it did. It flowed nicely. It did. It flowed, and they all kind of led into each other. And as a matter of fact, I... You know the pest guy. I actually that's 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 super cool for me. I I love that kind of stuff. And, and that was a brand new display that he had there I, too. That one, yeah. I thought he should be doing kids. Yeah. You know, go to and let let the you know go yeah. talk to school yeah. and stuff like yeah. that. You know yeah. these are all of our friends. Don't try to kill them. You just want to help get rid of them type of thing. Find them back to their own home. So let's talk. Let's let's first and foremost let's thank all your sponsors, your corporate people. Oh my gosh. Of the chamber. Right off the bat. Yeah. Advent Health North Pinellas is our big corporate sponsor. They are platinum. They are just phenomenal. And as you as we discussed, they're part of the community, but they have be they become one of our big corporate sponsors. Um, also on the Silver level, which is not too far behind that. I have Ameriprise Financial, who is Ann Peterson. She's um, in downtown Tarpon. Edward Jones, Richland Dahl, also in downtown Tarpon. And then one of my favorite banks, Flagship Bank in Tarpon, um, Hometown Bank, that's, the, that's great. So they are also one of our, our sponsors. Love these people. They are the ones that keep us g going day to day. But in addition, we um, have a lot of dues coming in, and we now have 46 new members as of yesterday. What? The goal for the year is 75 because, you know, people were coming in after COVID, and the board said, okay, we had 102 last year. Let's go 75. We're blowing the numbers out again. It's amazing, 46, and there's businesses that 
you know, have not been members of the chamber and have now either retooled or looking for something right. new. And we have really become a vital part of the community any longer. That's phenomenal. And so people are saying, hey, I want to be part of that. So, Which is great. Let's see, it's July, so or actually get ready to be August. So it's August now. You've got five more months. Right? Yeah, exactly. Five more months. Oh, 75 is easy. I know. And it's like one of these, I like stretch goals. They thought that was going to be a stretch goal. I said, yeah, probably so after we've now out of COVID. But there we are. That's awesome. I know. It's 46, and that means that, and we're not losing, but maybe one or two that just don't quite make it or whatever. It's That's great. even better. It's great. I know. We are growing. We're on almost 400 members now. That's awesome. So, so good. Um, it's so nice to have that many members. We're changing things up, too. Yeah. Um, we, you know, it was always Wednesday, 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 um, every single week. Well, we've now moved it around a little bit. We now do um, the Good Morning Tarpon is Wednesday l breakfast. I cook. Um, and I've got a couple of people who say, can I help? Which is a lot of fun. So it's becoming, uh, one was a dentist who was last month. She came in early because she wanted to help. I, who knew? I had no idea. She's always been very quiet. She was very animated that day. Right. Um, and then the second week of the month, our, mon our Wednesday lunch, we moved to Monday because it's easier for people to break for lunch then. Yeah. Um, I'm looking at talking with our ambassadors about taking that lunch over so that it gives them um, the opportunity to sort of give it a diff little different feel. Um, we're looking at maybe doing that in September. So that's one of the other new things we're looking at doing. That's awesome. Um, then the third Wednesday of the month we had another breakfast we have now dropped that because it was not as well attended and we have property partners on tuesday okay it's at three o'clock at the wine society real estate or anybody who wants to be involved in real estate and i'll tell you the things that, that real estate are involved everything from handyman roofers and mortgage right real estate but also mary Kay, and you know just it's a lot of different things. Gifts. We've had retail people pop in just to sort of say hello. Who wants to not have a glass of wine at 3 o'clock on Tuesday and relax? Everybody. Everybody. Everybody wants a wine. And it never breaks up until like 5 Everybody ish. needs some wine. Every, until like 5-ish, something yep. like that. Fourth is a happy hour again. Um, and last week we were supposed to have um, a yappy hour at oh, Hickory Point, right. and I mean, the weather was so hot, and it's going, it was going to be outside that we ended up postponing that until the end of September, but Yappy Hour is one of our big, big... Now, where was that going to be? Hickory Point, Hickory which is Point. over on Anclote Road. It's an that RV is an RV park. park. That's an yes, RV point. Right. Park, yep. yes. So, right on the water, and, you know, doggy treats, human treats, and a little bit of vino and, and beer, too. So, yeah, that's good. Good stuff. Very good stuff. The other thing that we have changed up is we have a new membership liaison. Um, we've had an employee um, who took another job um, out, you know, out of the area, mm -hmm. and I had to really carefully come up with how do I replace this person right. um, because it takes a unique set of skills to be a membership liaison. You've got to have a bubbly personality and like people, truly like people, and then also... I can't uh, get that job. I know. <laughs> you and I couldn't work together anyway. <laughs> and... But also somebody who understands how to be organized and the administrative skills that go behind yeah. it because it's Facebook and all that. Joy is a joy to work with. Joy is a joy. Joy necessary. She has come on board. Um, joy is necessary. Yes. She's from um, Bristol, Virginia. She's been in the area for um, a little while, but um, brings a whole new perspective. Very enthusiastic. She's been on a couple of weeks, and I am thrilled. Um, she's, she's a Mid-Easterner. Uh, That's what we call them, Mid-Easterners. Not with that accent. <laughs> anyway, we had our awards reception okay. um, that we didn't get to talk about because we weren't here in July. That's right. Sorry. And just let That's okay. Let me run through this. She saw the big winner, which was yeah. Advent House. Wow. Um, we had it June 22nd at the Tarpon Springs Yacht Club. Uh, the dinner was Fabulous. If you, we sold out 80 seats, um, ended up with a couple of extras of people that were, you know, came in and it was like, I'm sorry, but then it was a former big deal president. So it was like, okay, take my seat. Gotcha. But it was, it was, you know, one of those first time we'd ever charged for dinner and sold out. Right. So I had a silent auction as well. Um, I had, in fact, Erica was part of helping put that together along with some other women shop owners downtown. Um, and it was just, it was lovely. That's awesome. And we had um, a violin that was playing throughout. And um, it was just, it was great. Businesses of the year. 
Yes. Small business of the year for the, those that are under 10 employees. Kim Adams, who's a realtor with Remax Elite. The woman is not only a great realtor, she is a great human being. I mean, she gives back to the community with um, the the sheriff's ranch, um, women's club. Oh, yeah, she does a lot in the uh, community. Just all kinds of stuff in the community. Better get going. We only okay. got a little bit of seconds All right, left. medium business of the year was the Tarpon Springs Distillery. Oh, I mean, they do a absolutely lot. Absolutely deserve that one. Absolutely deserve that. It goes through a whole lot of stuff. Large business of the year was Advent Health North Pinellas, for over 20 employees. From that group, then we also had the nonprofit oh, of the year was the Epiphany City Chapter 16 Order of Ahepa, which is the men's mm -hmm. um, organization, the Greek organization. They have now moved their it's, this is now an auxiliary of the national headquarters. Huge, big deal. Um, they are, they're, they're thrilled too, but they're doing a lot in the community as well. So then the Chamber Business of the Ward goes to the business of these boards that made the most outreach into the Tarpon Springs community and Advent Health. That was yep. clearly, clearly the, the thing. Um, we've had Summer Splash. We had... Um, that was the joint the annual um, with all of our northern Pinellas County um, chambers, and we had it at Innisbrook. So next year, we've already booked it ahead. Nice. Great stuff. Um, we've just opened applications last week for the Fine Arts Festival, March 9th and 10th, um, 2024. We already have 30 people have, who've applied. Wow. So we're expecting about 400 to apply. Wow. We'll take 200. Um, we started our 2024 visitor's guide with a fresh rewrite. I've hired some people to do articles. Um, we're going to do one called 48 Hours in Tarpon Springs. Nice. That was launched this week. Nice. So. All kinds of good stuff. That's, That's a lot. lot. It's exciting. I love what I do. Thanks for being here today. Thank you for appreciate having it. You had a great lineup. Thanks Thank for you. watching. We appreciate it. We know you have other stuff to watch, and you could watch anything you wanted, but you watched us. See everybody next week on My Chamber TV.